Hello everyone. Welcome to Neso Academy. In the previous lecture we understood some of the best practices we need to follow for identifiers. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is declaring and defining variables. In this lecture we will understand how to declare and define variables in C++. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is introduction to variables. First I will introduce you to variables. This means I will let you know what variables are in C++. Then we will move to the second topic where we will understand how to define a variable in C++. After understanding how to define a variable, we will move to the third topic where we will understand how to declare a variable in C++. So these are all the topics which we need to deal with in this lecture. Let's get started with the first topic which is introduction to variables. So what are variables? A variable is a named location in memory where data can be stored. So it is a named location. I have mentioned this already that a variable is a named object. An object is a storage location where we can store some data. Variable is a named object. This means it represents a named location where we can store some data. This is what I have mentioned here. It is a named location in memory where data can be stored. You can think of a variable as a box where you can store some item. This analogy will help you understand exactly what a variable is. It is a box where you can store some item. This box is currently holding this item, this toy train. So, variable is this box. Name of this variable is toy. And the data it is currently holding is this toy train. So, this is how you can imagine a variable. Now, we can relate this specific analogy with this definition. It is a named location in memory where data can be stored. I hope it is clear to you what is a variable. Now, let's move to the second point. The second point is, it can hold one value at a time. Think of it like a special type of box which can only hold one item at a time. It cannot hold more than one items. Like this box is holding just one item, this toy train. No other item is allowed to be stored inside this box. So, this is what a variable is. A variable can hold one value at a time. Now, let's move to the third point. The third point is, value of a variable can be changed. It is not mandatory to have just one value throughout the lifetime of this variable. It can have different values, but only one value at a time. So, it is possible to store a different item in this box. We can store a different toy. Maybe we can store a ball or it can have a teddy or any other toy, not just toy train. So, with this, I hope it is clear that what a variable is, a variable is a named location in memory where data can be stored. It can only hold one value at a time, but value can be changed later. So, this is what a variable is and with this we are done with the first topic that is introduction to variables. Now, let's move to the second topic where we will understand how to define a variable in C++. But first we will understand what is the meaning of defining a variable. Defining a variable means creating a variable. So, when we define a variable, we are creating a variable. And the second point is, create before use. It is important to create a variable before using it. We cannot use a variable before creating. It does not make any sense. So, it is important to create a variable before using it. Otherwise, we will get an error. So, I hope these two points are completely clear. Now, let's see what is the syntax we need to follow to define a variable in C++. Syntax is like this. First, we need to specify the data type. 
then we need to specify the name of the variable. Data type tells the type of data a variable can hold. It can be int, char, float. Let me tell you exactly what these mean. Int represents integer. If the data type is int, then it tells that variable can hold an integer. If the data type is char, then it means that variable can hold a character. If the data type is float, then this means that a variable can hold a floating point value or a fraction. There are other data types as well, which we will learn later. For now, just understand that we need to specify the data type first. This means we need to specify the type of data a variable can hold. Then after this, we need to specify the name of the variable. But remember, between data type and variable name, there must be a space. So I hope the definition is clear to you. At the end of the name of the variable, you need to put this semicolon as well. So this is how we can define a variable in C++. Now I hope this syntax is clear. Now I would like to tell you exactly what happens when we define a variable. Through definition, we are doing two things precisely. We are declaring properties of a variable and we are also requesting a block of memory. Let's understand what is the meaning of declaring properties of a variable. Through definition, we are declaring properties of the variable to the compiler. We are telling what is the name of the variable and what type of data it can hold. So, with definition, we tell compiler what are the properties of the variable. Apart from this, we also request memory for the variable. It is important to request memory for the variable so that we can store some value in it. A variable is a named location. It is a location in memory. So, it is important to request a block of memory. Then only a variable has some meaning. So, when we define a variable, we declare properties of that variable and we also request memory for that variable. I hope these two points are clear to you. What we do when we define a variable is clear to you. Now let's see an example and through the example, let's understand how to define a variable. First, we need to specify the data type. Here the data type is char. This means this variable can hold a character then after this, we have the name of the variable. Name of the variable is grade. And you can observe that between data type and the name of the variable, there is one space. The gap of space is important to differentiate between these two entities. At the end of the variable name, we have the semicolon. This is how we can define a variable in C++. Here I have defined this variable grade of character type. This means this variable can hold a character value. And by definition, what I am doing is, I am declaring the properties of this variable. I am telling the compiler that the name of this variable is grade and the type is char. This means it can hold a character. Apart from this, I am also requesting a memory block. In this way, I am creating this variable. I hope this idea is clear to you. So with this, we have understood how to define a variable in C++. And this means we are done with the second topic of this lecture as well. Now let's move to the third topic and let's understand the concept of declaring a variable in C++. So what is the meaning of declaring a variable in C++? Declaring a variable means declaring the properties of that variable to the compiler. Now, what is the meaning of this? When we declare a variable, we declare the properties of that variable to the compiler. This means we tell the compiler what is the name of the variable and what type of value it can hold. Now, you might be thinking this is the same job we were doing with definition as well. When we define a variable, we declare the properties of that variable. Along with this, we also request a memory block. Then what is the need of declaring a variable? 
we can do the same job with definition as well. To understand the importance of declaring a variable, let's move to the second point. The second point is, it tells the compiler that a variable is already defined somewhere in the project. Now imagine that you are working on a project and in that project you are dealing with multiple files. In one of the files you have defined a variable and you want to use that variable in a different file. Can you define the same variable in a different file? No, it is not allowed. We cannot define the same variable in multiple files that too in the same project. It is important to understand that only once we can define a variable in a project. It is not possible to define the same variable in multiple files of the same project. Now, if the definition of the variable is available in one file and you want to use that variable in another file, then it is important to declare that variable first. If you want to use that variable in a different file, then declare that variable. This is the reason why we declare a variable. Through declaration, we are just declaring the properties of that variable to the compiler. We are not asking for the memory block. We are just telling the compiler that the variable is already defined somewhere in the project. Please believe in us. We are just using this variable here. I am not going to define this variable. So this is the meaning of declaration of variable. When we declare a variable, we just tell the compiler that the variable is already defined somewhere. We just want to use the variable in the current file. In this way, we are not asking the another memory block. We are just telling the compiler that the variable exists. I hope this idea is clear to you and I hope it is clear why we declare a variable in C++. Now let's see through an example how to declare a variable in C++. Here I have declared this variable grade of character type with the help of this extern keyword. Extern means external. This means I am indicating to the compiler that this variable is external to the current file. I am just going to use this variable. I am not defining this variable. This variable is defined somewhere in the project. Just believe in us. This is what we are telling the compiler. So, with this line, we are telling the compiler that variable grade is already defined somewhere in the project. I hope this idea is completely clear to you. And with this, we have learned the importance of declaring a variable in C++. Now with this, we are done with this topic as well, that is declaring a variable. And we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.